Hey, what's going on guys? John here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over Easy Ease in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. So whichever software that you're looking to add Easy Ease to, um, I'll go over both of them here in this tutorial. So I'm going to do Premiere Pro first, but feel free to skip ahead to After Effects if you're looking for an After Effects Easy Ease. So I'll link the timestamp below and you can skip ahead. But before we get started, feel free to add a fill color effect to that like button and turn it from gray to blue for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks very much. And with that, we'll get started. So inside Premiere Pro, I just have a text layer. And what we're going to do, we're going to animate the position. So I already have it off screen and we're going to just click the keyframe times, uh, sorry, the time watch in the effects controls, go forward here to about 15 frames, click on it again, and animate it on. So there we have it. So very static. So we're, what we're going to do is uh, change the linear keyframes to Bezier keyframes, which adds like a curve to it as it animates in. So in effects controls, we're going to select these two keyframes, left click on them, go to temporal interpolation. Da -da -da. Very complex terminology here and click Bezier and that will add a curve kind of to the keyframes. So you can kind of see it's a little smoother, but we can work on it. So inside the effects controls, this is difficult to mess with. And even if you make this uh, drop it down and you zoom in and you try to adjust the handlebars, this is kind of too small to work with. So what I like to do instead is do it in the side, the timeline. So what you can do in the clip here is right click, go to motion and position. And that will bring up in the clip inside the timeline, the position keyframes. That way you can easily edit them. So with that selected, you can make this track really big and click tilde to make it full screen. And you can zoom in here, click on it, click on a keyframe and you can adjust the handlebars. You'll see that it makes it bigger and it adjusts to the actual curve of the keyframes. So if we play this back here, you can see now we have a nice easy ease effect to these keyframes. So that's an easy way to add easy ease inside Premiere Pro. Now let's head over to After Effects where we're gonna use the graph editor to add easy ease to keyframes. Let's get started. I have a text layer and what we're gonna do is bring up the position. So click P on the keyboard and what we're gonna do here is separate the dimensions. So by right clicking, you can click separate dimensions and it'll separate the X and Y position. So unlike Premiere Pro and After Effects, you can actually separate the dimensions of a single parameter. That way you're only working with the X axis and the Y is separate. This is very handy in animating a layer inside After Effects. So for example, we'll only be working with the X axis. So keyframe the X position, go out to about 15 frames, click another keyframe, go back and animate this to the left so now we got this. So this is probably what most animations look like, but what we're going to do is take this a step further and add easy ease to it. So to do that, we'll select the keyframes here. We'll right click, we'll go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And this will change the look of the keyframes to the little hourglass thingy. I don't know what they're called, but you know, now it has easy ease. So it's a little bit smoother, but we can work on this. And the way to enhance this is by using the graph editor. Now the graph editor can be a little intimidating for new animators, but I'm going to easily show you how to use the easy functions inside it to add easy ease. Trust me, it's easy to use and it will add a lot of production to your animations. So to get to the graph editor, click the little icon in the timeline panel. And what you'll notice is that the timeline, instead of seeing the keyframes, you'll see a graph. So how this reads is the X axis is time and the Y axis is speed over time. So, and whichever parameter is selected, that is shown in the graph. So, for example, if we click on Y, you'll notice it's just a straight line because no keyframes are animated. It's simply a zero over time. And when we click on X, you'll see that it changes between those two keyframes that we made. And how this reads is, say, if we go to the very top here, it's going at 3,500 pixels per second. And, you know, over here, as it speeds up, it's going less. So you can kind of see how that reads per second. 
So that's how you read the graph editor. So how do we edit the graph editor to make it more easy ease? Well, what you can do is click on each side of these and a little handlebar appears. What you can do is click, hold down shift and drag to the left or to the right to kind of edit how fast over time these two keyframes um, speed up and slow down. So for example here, it, get, it starts very quickly, but then it eases in down, uh, the speed goes down over time. So you can kind of see how that works. So that's an easy way to use the graph editor to add easy ease animation to your keyframes. This is very handy inside After Effects and it'll just make your animations overall better. So I hope this tutorial has helped you if you are looking to add easy ease to keyframes inside either Premiere Pro or After Effects. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.